Hey there, how's it going? It's Zoe here. My channel is Vegan Mental Iron and it's all about investing in mental iron, which is really just an anagram of environmentalist. I really do believe that eating a plant-based vegan diet is the best thing you can do for your mental health, for the environment, for the planet. And I really think if we invest in good mental health and environmentalism, that just everything else good will follow. But you may wonder why I have this blaster in my hand this little baby here this is the vegan blaster of truth beautiful right this is made of borosilicate glass my boyfriend Demetrius blew this he blows glass he's a glass blower I will link all of his social below I will be using my vegan blaster to blast away some myths about veganism infographic time infographic time hey infographic time baby Start out talking about the environment. I am still vegan because of the environment. And I keep seeing this one article. People have sent me this article and I just get so riled up because it's not true. Veganism isn't as good for the environment as people are saying. It's real good for the environment, guys. Sorry, I'm really hyper. I had a lot of coffee. I look at Cowspiracy, the facts. And please watch this documentary. I will link it in the description. It will change your life. Cowspiracy is all about the sustainability secret. You have all these environmental groups and a lot of them don't talk about this stuff because whoopsies, their funding is coming from whoopsies, the animal agriculture business. Cause they got a lot of money, a lot of lobbying. They need the funding and they want to help, but they can't talk about it. So we're going to talk about climate change. 51% of greenhouse gas emissions are due to livestock and their byproducts. This means animals, little farts, they're farting their little farts, methane, into the atmosphere. There's a ton of CO2 that is created in the manufacture of grains and transportation of grains and all of these things, cutting down trees and etc. So there's a lot of CO2 that's being created just to grow the feed. So this GMO soy feed that is fed to like all sorts of animals, like fish even. It's weird, it's crazy. So it's not even just cows, but a lot of this is just going for animal agriculture. 51%. And then you wanna compare it to something else that everyone's talking about. Get yourself a Tesla, girl. That's what you can do for the planet. You won't be the most environmentally friendly. And you can bring your little shopping bags and go zero waste, no plastic for you. You're gonna save the world, girl. That's not all you can do. 13% of global greenhouse gas emissions internationally are coming from your transportation sector. That's planes, trains, automobiles. The stats, a plant-based diet or vegan diet reduces your carbon footprint by 50%. That's a lot of percent. Water use when it comes to the environment. One hamburger uses 660 gallons of water. So you gotta take into account the water it's taking to grow the grain, feed the crops, give the animals water to drink, all of that. And that's just very water intensive. So people tell you to, you know, like, oh, let's take a quick shower, save the planet, save mama earth. I'm gonna take a five minute shower. I'm gonna do so many good things. You can do more. One hamburger, that 660 gallons of water is equivalent to not showering for six months. That's a lot. Might as well just uh, take your garden hose and leave it in the front lawn and just not turn it off. So the USA, our water use here, we talk about like our domestic water use all the time and reducing it and like turn off the faucet. 5% of our water use in the US is coming from domestic use. 55% of it is coming from animal agriculture. That's a big percent. The meat and dairy industry use a third of Earth's fresh water for these projects. And by projects, I mean Death and destruction. <laughs> I like to be really frank about veganism. I hope I'm not offending anyone. I don't think you're not as good of a person if you're not vegan, um, or even if you backslide and go unvegan. You're not a terrible person, but there's so much more you can do, and I hope that you'd be as excited about it as I am, and so many of us are, and like this is the time to be alive. It's a really exciting time for changes. And I'm a very pragmatic vegan, and I try to talk about it in a pragmatic way, but sometimes I do get emotional because I really care, and I'll just like sob while watching nature documentaries being like, it's all being lost, oh my god. But 
I get it. Not everyone can be vegan. I, I don't hate you if you're not vegan. I think you're beautiful. I really think that everyone can be vegan if they want. It's just a matter of time and a different path for everyone. So please chill. Vegans do not hate you. At least I don't. A lot of people are saying that this the vegan community is really mean because of the way things are going and people say it's not anyone's business what you eat and like everyone should f off and stop telling each other what to do but it is my business if it's polluting the planet to the point where like i'm in some scary scary post-apocalyptic scenario because people couldn't stop eating steak it sounds so crazy to say something like that but honestly very real possibility if we start having climate wars and stuff like that and our infrastructure crumbles i don't know things can escalate very quickly and we get in this bubble of like our convenience and our consumerism and our capitalism and I'm not saying capitalism sucks it's a good thing but we have to guide it and be responsible consumers so that we're not destroying the planet and just using it like a freaking tissue and like then you see all these sci-fi movies and it's like we're moving to the moon of Jupiter and like the future is not on earth and like what are you gonna how are you gonna treat that planet are you gonna learn from your lesson that you just destroyed a planet I'm ranting let's talk about pupies that the animals do their little poop waste from the farm of 2,500 dairy cows is equal to the waste of a city of 411,000 people that's a lot of people that's like a big <laughs> city I will figure out what city is equivalent every minute seven million pounds of duty <coughs> are produced by animals in the US that are raised for food. That's a lot of poops and many find this to be a bit of a class and racial issue as well because where do you think all these pupae lagoons are being drained to and where do you think all these pupae fertilizer is being sprayed all over? It's over the poor, impoverished, unfortunate communities that have been stuck in cycles of poverty due to their color for f***ed up reasons because our country has a deep, deep history of racial inequality and these are the communities that are being really negatively impacted and I don't bring this up because I think I'm some sort of expert. I know I'm white AF and I have a lot of privilege here, but you know, I've done some research and I've talked to some people uh, about just what they think about it and there are a lot of really awesome POC in the vegan community and I think they're doing a really good job spreading this message because it's really important for a lot of communities as well health-wise and I'm not gonna get into that too much. Let's talk about land use. Everyone is always talking about overpopulation. It's really bad. We live in a world of like what nine billion people now. The US has a total of people. That's a lot of people. Everyone's always saying like oh urban sprawl it's so bad. Yeah it's bad but also we could be using our land in a much smarter way. We can be stacking our dwellings up and putting trees in them like some really cool countries are doing. What up, France? <laughs> One third of our land is desertified due to livestock and livestock covers 45% of the Earth's surface. That's bonkers. I'm sure some of that includes the land that's being used to grow grain, but still, we could be putting people in those places. People could also have less babies, but that's a loaded topic, so we're not gonna talk about that. If people ate differently, they could really have as many babies as they want because it wouldn't really be as bad water intensive wise for everyone ah, okay such inflammatory topics i'm just in rare form in this video i don't think i've ever been this crazy before so i hope you like it because this is kind of what i'm like i'm trying to warm up and behind the camera and be myself 1.5 acres of land is what it takes to grow 37 pounds of plant-based food that's a lot of pounds of food or guess what else you could do with that land? If you wanna use all that land to produce meat, guess how much meat you can get out of it? How many pounds of meat do you think? 375 pounds of meat. That's like two people. We could solve world hunger nine times over if everyone ate a plant-based diet. And blah, 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 and everyone's going to, don't be an idealist, huh? But just fun, food for thought, pun intended. And now let's talk about the land needed to feed one person for one year. Vegans, one sixth of an acre, and meat eaters, 18 times that. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> People say, oh, I want some grass-fed beef and that will solve the problem. <laughs> Our vegan blaster of truth will tell you that's not <laughs> true mm -mm. because you actually will increase the amount of land needed 
which will make these statistics even worse. Maybe you'll use the same amount of grain and you'll just have to use more land for grazing. Makes no sense mathematically. Come on, we have vegan blasted a lot of environmentalism myths and I'm telling you why I'm still vegan for the environment. If you like this video, let me know. Give me a thumbs up with your weird thumb. Please look at this weird thumb. It's pretty freaking weird. Can you see? I'm missing a joint. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you haven't already because I've been seeing a lot of you guys that watch my video aren't actually subscribed, which makes me happy because it means I'm reaching people that are new, but I want you to come on board with me. Hit that notification bell in the corner so you get a notification when I post new videos. It helps me expand my channel and do better and do more and reach more people, which is what I really want to do. I hope you enjoyed my vegan blaster of truth. Pew. And if you like this beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment, I will say it is also a pipe. <laughs> my boyfriend made it and he's very talented. You can smoke CBD out of this. So you would just put it in there and you go. And it's pretty cool. So yes, it is for sale. And that's it. And I'll see you in the next video. I post two videos every week. Every once in a while I only get to one. Every once in a while I get to three. So, but there will always be something for you on my channel every week. Haven't picked an, a set day yet, but for now, just expect something every three or so days. Much love. Peace.